This is the technology which represents a huge leap in prostate cancer treatment. It involves a drug derived from bacteria found in the darkness of the ocean floor. This laser optic fiber is inserted into the prostate. The light activates the drug which kills the cancer. When Gerald Capon was diagnosed with early prostate cancer, he was worried it might develop and he'd need surgery or radiotherapy, which can cause incontinence or impotence. Instead, he became one of the first successfully treated with the new light therapy and had no long-term side effects. Well, I feel incredibly lucky that I was accepted for the trial. I'm totally cured. I can look forward to the remaining years of my life, hopefully cancer-free. One in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, so this highly effective new treatment, known as photodynamic therapy, could be hugely significant. The light-sensitive drug is injected into the bloodstream. It's derived from deep-sea bacteria, which are efficient at converting light into energy. Through a thin tube, a laser light is inserted into the prostate. The light activates the drug, which destroys the cancer cells. The journal Lancet Oncology reports that half the patients given photodynamic therapy were completely clear of cancer two years later, compared to about one in seven of those given standard care. Crucially, it did not cause major side effects. The harms with traditional treatments have always been the side effects, um, urinary incontinence, in other words, leaking urine and requiring pads, uh, sexual difficulties, which occurs in the majority of men who have treatment. To have a new treatment now that we can administer to men who are eligible that is virtually free of those side effects is truly transformative. The treatment is likely to cost around £20,000 a patient and is expected to be approved in Europe following these impressive results. Its use is also being trialled in other cancers. So it won't be cheap, but for prostate patients, photodynamic therapy represents a powerful new weapon in the war on cancer. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.